Stitchy back with another video. If you're new, then hey, boo, my name is Stitchy. To my returning subscribers, welcome back. You guys, I'm always happy to have you guys back to check out a brand new video. So today, I'm going to be sharing my room with you guys. We're going to be doing a room tour. So I asked you guys during Stitchmas if you guys wanted a room tour. And girl, a lot was going on during Stitchmas. So it got kind of pushed back. But I'm here today, and I'm going to be sharing my room tour with you guys. And you guys are going to be able to see what my room looks like. Um, bear in mind that my room is in New York City. I do currently live in the Bronx. And um, my room is pretty small. So you guys are going to be able to see how I organize the space to the best of my ability, where I film. Just, just all of that. So if you are interested in watching, stay tuned. Subscribe if you haven't already. And join the gang. We'd love to have you during this quarantine and chill. We want to see you back here on the channel. So be sure to subscribe. And and turn on your post notifications so that way you are alerted every single time that I upload a new video. Go ahead and also give me a thumbs up because I'm like letting you guys into like a very personal space of mine. Obviously like I film in my room anyway but you guys are seeing like everything top to bottom. So make sure you give me a thumbs up for that. No further ado, let's get into today's video. I'm going to try to remember like where I got everything in my room. I did move back to New York City in September. If you did not know, I was living in Buffalo for five years. And all of my apartments have been bigger than my room here. So um, it's, it's very different. This was where I was living, obviously, before moving away for college. So I literally got rid of all of my furniture and I put all brand new furniture. I painted the walls and everything. My walls were white before and it was just kind of basic for me. So yeah, let's, let's, let's get into it. So... As you guys can see, right? Right behind me, I have TSL on this side for this dish life. You guys know I love my TSL lights. And on this side, I have my Hello Gorgeous sign. So that's just as soon as you walk in, you see that. I'm going to take um, you guys off the tripod and let's like kind of move around, okay? Hang on. Okay, so I have you guys on my handheld tripod right now. Hopefully that's a little better. So let's flip the camera. It's so hard when there's no one to record for you. So right here, I do have a mirror. It goes over my um, door right here. I've always wanted to paint this door. Well, mostly like since moving back, I've wanted to paint the door, but that's something that I'll probably get into in the future and maybe like sand it down and, you know, um, put a nice finish on it. But my overhead mirror, my over the door mirror is from Target. Um, it has this gold exterior which I really like because it matches my bed that you guys will see in a little bit. On this side I have my one of my backgrounds. You guys usually see this background right here. I do have my Ollie pills right here that I've started to take some sunscreen a lot with the majority of my skincare. I usually have a nice candle burning. This is from DW Home. You guys know that's the only place that I get my candles from other than Bath and Body Works. You can find DW Home in um, Marshalls or TJ Maxx. Love, 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 love. This smells marvelous. Real quick, here's another one, Pink Sea Salt. I haven't started to burn this one as yet, but literally all my candles are DW Home. Every single one are from DW Home, so I'm putting you on. So yeah, we have all of my skincare up here. Then you guys know I have my Alex 9 drawer. This is what it looks like. You guys usually see this. A lot of times when you guys see this backdrop, I am also sitting on this chair, throw off, off of it. But this chair is an acrylic chair. I got it from Amazon. I usually just sit right on top of this. It's from Ikea, if it decides to stay. Yeah, it is from Ikea. So this is how my bedding is set up. Thank you. 
so normally I have a um, comforter on here my comforter is dirty so I just threw down a nice throw I use just two throws and right now it's not as cold in my room anyways I have five pillows my long body pillow two um, pillows from the bamboo pillows they're super super soft and I have just two throws my laptop is usually right here because I edit in my bed 99% of the time I have my um, Roku TV remote and my phone just sits right there you guys see I have this nice picture got this from home goods she designed a life she loved I like to um, sleep with that above my head because I just feel like it sets the tone I wake up and I see it like all right it's up to you boom TSL lights are from Amazon you guys have seen that before not gonna spend time on it my blinds are from Ikea they're kind of those shutter I don't know what to how to explain them but um, they're those type of blinds I could pull it from there or I can like I could pull it down from there and push it up just with my arm um, hands just like that this, uh, wow, this is my Hello Gorgeous sign. I got this as well from Marshalls. If you are a day one, and I mean day one, literally when I uploaded my very first video, you are familiar with that Hello Gorgeous sign because it was on like, it was be sitting behind me when I uploaded my very first video. <laughs> no, no, no. using that as like my backdrop now I brought it home from Buffalo so really really cute I did bring that from Buffalo it was also in my very very first video I don't know if you guys noticed but I do have a day bed um I ordered the frame from Amazon really wasn't that bad um putting up I got a full because a queen if I got a queen in my room, it would just take up more, more space that I already don't have. So I did go ahead and get a full, and I also have a full mattress. My mattress is from Sealy, pretty comfortable, pretty affordable as well. I got that um, from Wayfair. My ottomans are over here. That one works, it's pretty functional. Well, they're both functional, but this one opens nicely. See, I keep a lot of my clothes in here. Everything is folded. So yeah, my ottomans are from Marshalls. As you guys can see, they're the exact same. These were, I, these were, weren't that bad. I want to say I paid around $120 for this one, and this one was $50. They do match. This one is, however, broken. This one works. Um, but I love these. I also brought these back home um, with me when I came back from Buffalo. You may have noticed that I don't have any dressers, and that's because I didn't want to purchase any dressers, and I felt like it would take up a lot more space in my room I already don't have much I didn't have any dressers in Buffalo in my last apartment either because I thought about um, the struggle would be to just bring that that dresser home or just having to sell the dresser so I never purchased a dresser I've always just had my ottomans and I had a um, industrial clothing rack those ones that you've seen like forever 21 very durable and I would hang all my clothes I still have it but I, there's no way to put it in my room so I do also have a closet so I don't need the industrial rack but Majority of my clothes are in my ottomans and in my closet. So as we move this way, I do have my TV mounted on my wall. It's not a swivel mount. I believe it goes to the right. I haven't actually moved it since they put it on my wall, but you guys do see I have that fireplace um, as we move down you may have seen in one of my vlogmas videos when I was cleaning this is where I do my makeup and in my makeup organization video I do my makeup right here in Buffalo I had a actual makeup station I don't have that anymore because I have to make use of my space so I do have this acrylic three shelf setup that I purchased from Target. I did have it in Buffalo as a side table. Um, so you guys see everything on that shelf, makeup on the second shelf. I have my socks on the third shelf. Very weird, but that's kind of where I can put them and stow them away at the moment. Right next to my makeup station is my mini office. So everything, well the majority of the things for Capra and YC are right in here. So I have my dry erase board that I like to use. I have my P-Touch label maker, this Moet bottle that I um, popped on New Year's, funny thing, and my mom put some lights in there so it lights up. My best friend also gave me some beads from Mardi Gras so I just wrapped those around. Thank you cards, pens, my um, label printer, and then a lot of my inventory is right in here. This is from Target, I said that. This I purchased from Marshalls. Moving on to this nice 
um, bookshelf situation that you guys see right here. So I have two, three, one, two, three shelf cubicles sitting on top of each other. Um, the second one is down there as you guys can see. And on the top shelf I like to keep some of my sunnies, all my sunglasses are in there. My camera usually sits right in here but I'm holding it right now. In here, second shelf I have just a few of my perfumes, some crystals, my um, Buddha and this cute 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 very random but but this is a money ring that i got from a customer when i was working at olive garden they left me a tip and they also left me this and i've just like always kind of had it and i just keep it right here just so that it doesn't get lost anywhere cool on the next shelf i have um this nice case that i keep all my jewelry in i got this at marshall's and it is stunning it's all glass and you guys can see there are some diamonds in here as well really really cute my jewelry is in here. Moving down, I have just some pictures of some of my faves. Then I have this Fenty Beauty um, case that my Trophy Wife Life set came in. Moving downward, I have my mini bookshelf. So a lot of the books that I've read, um, journals, my elephant, my UE Boom speaker. Right next to this, I have, <laughs> don't laugh, but right next to this, I have my yoga mat that I still need to open. I'm trying to get back into yoga. I have my step stool because I use that sometimes to get in my closet because I'm just too short. And uh, my snack bin. So sometimes I feel like I need a snack and this is where I usually get them from. Moving away from the snacks to the last shelf at the bottom. I have some a piggy bank. I have a lot of the things that I use for my pop-up shops and then in the back. In that back bin I have a few items that I have like some electronics and stuff in. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the shelving. So now I'm going to flip the camera and I'll show you guys just a full view of how everything looks on the opposite side, opposite from my bed. I like to keep my keys here. I did just use a command hook and then they had these nice gold um, hooks. So I just like to keep my keys here. So before I leave my house, I grab my keys from the wall right here. You guys see my mirror again, everything over here. And then on this side, and here is my closet. I do have some Polaroids that um, I like to keep on here. I got the grids from Five Below a while back. And just in case you guys are wondering, my ring light is usually right over there, literally. She's usually plugged in right there and I'm usually recording right here. So that's basically it for the room tour. I'm not gonna show you guys what my closet looks like because if you guys have watched any other room tour videos, then you guys know that that's where people usually shove all of their crap just so they can make the video in. I'm not gonna bullshit y'all. That's exactly what happened today. So I hope you guys really enjoyed my New York City mini mini room tour. Um, let me know what was your favorite portion of my room. Like do you guys think I did a pretty decent job in regards to just decorating and all that good stuff. I do want to get a, another fluffy pillow just to add like a decorative pillow but I haven't found the one that I had in Buffalo as yet. So I'm just gonna keep stocking home goods but I do want to get a few cute decorative pillows. So yeah subscribe if you haven't already and join the gang turn on your post notifications bell as well because you don't want to miss out on any of my future uploads and if you haven't already give me a thumbs up if you've made it to this part of the video go ahead and comment the sparkle emoji let's do that that's usually what shows up right here anyway because if you want to subscribe you could click that sparkle emoji right there but comment that emoji right there Love you guys expect to see you guys here again for another upload and until then bye and i'm going to be sharing and and to be honest, so I'm not gonna so and I'm gonna be like giving you guys use how I um how I organize the space.